Yes, Lord, I am praying today for your children, the spiritual children that you have given to me. I am praying for them this morning as you have instructed my Father, my God. Lord, today we come before your throne of grace in the name of Jesus and by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I declare and I decree every sin in our lives. Lord, we repent of all sin. Cleanse us from all sin and wash us from all unrighteousness by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your power to forgive. I thank you for your mercy and your tender loving kindness. Have mercy on us, my Father, my God. Wherever we have wronged you, have mercy on us. Wash us by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice, may your sins be washed under the power that is in the blood of Jesus. May your sins be forgiven according to God's word in the name of Jesus. Now I come before the throne of grace today and I declare and I decree today. Mando bakile reboko dobo zidali bako dabahaya. Today, as we get into February, today in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command a change of story for all of God's children. Anyone that is connected to me in ministry, in the name of Jesus, I stand in the gap for you as your men of God in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. No harm shall befall you in the name of Jesus. I command divine defense upon the lives of all of these children in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree every satanic plan planned against these sons and daughters in the ministry shall not prevail in the name of Jesus. Every satanic plan, every demonic plan, you will not work in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release angels, the angels of the living God, to protect all of these God's children in the name of Jesus. Be ye protected even from today going forward. In the name of Jesus, I command warring angels. I command ministering angels to be round about you and round about your family. In the name of Jesus, today by the power of the Holy Ghost, I dismiss the spirit of death. I destroy that power of death that is hovering over the nation of Zimbabwe, over the nations of Africa. In the name of Jesus, COVID-19, you have no power over God's children. I break your power. I break your power over the lives of God's children. I command divine exemption upon every child of God that is committed in this ministry in the name of Jesus. Loose and let them go in the name of Jesus. You have no power. You have no portion over their lives in the name of Jesus. As their shepherd as I lift up my hand to heaven I call on the God who answers by fire and I ask that Lord that you would step in on their behalf in the name of Jesus. And satanic powers by fire destroy them by fire the powers of witchcraft must be destroyed COVID-19 witchcraft you are destroyed in the name of Jesus there shall be no lives lost in the name of Jesus preserve every life connected to KP whether in the church or online. Preserve them, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. I and the children that you have given me, we are for signs and wonders. Oh, kabadola mo kazatola mahaya. As we are stepping into February, we are stepping in with you, O God. By you, O God, we can run through a troop. By you, O God, we can leap over a wall. By you, O God, we can conquer COVID-19. By you, O God, we shall be preserved as a church family in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Today, by the power that is in the blood of Jesus, I wage a war against every satanic power working against God's children in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. Lord, arise for the sake of our destinies, my Father, my God. Do not allow us to be consumed by the enemy. Do not allow us to be consumed by COVID-19. Do not allow us to be consumed by the evil forces of darkness working all around the nations at this present time in the name of Jesus. Father, be with us in this dark hour in the name of Jesus. I call on light from heaven to shine upon us even in this dark situation in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree that even the lawful captives shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. Whoever has been held captive by sickness and disease, whoever has been held captive by witchcraft powers, you are being loosed right now in the name of Jesus. Territorial powers collapse and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Loose God's children right now in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go in the name of Jesus. Lo kabadula mazato majeta la mahaya. Manda la boca dele rebe keri andula muka tila la mahaya. Ma kabadula mazato la mahaya. Father, I know that when I pray, you hear me always. I call on the God of heaven to come down in his majesty. Come down with your sword, my father, my God, and destroy evil powers in the name of Jesus. Come down with the fire of the Holy Ghost and destroy the powers of witchcraft. Come down, O God, by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Destroy every satanic resistance to our progress. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus must speak for us. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Cain and the blood of Abel. In the name of Jesus, wind of God, oh, arise and defend us in the name of Jesus. I call on the God who comes down in his thunder to destroy every satanic altar working against us. In the name of Jesus, today I call on the judgment of God against every satanic altar in the name of Jesus. Every satanic altar received the judgment of God even this night in the name of Jesus by the power that is in the blood of Jesus I destroy every evil altar in the name of Jesus altars of failure be destroyed Lord God's children will not fail anymore in the name of Jesus every satanic proverb that is working against God's children I command that proverb to fall down to the ground in the name of Jesus Jesus. Evil altars of poverty, I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. God's children, you will no longer fail in the name of Jesus. Altars of sickness and disease, be it destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Altars that are releasing death, I destroy those evil altars in the name of Jesus. Spirit of death, I arrest you. La bako Mahaya. Now I declare and I decree, Lord, even as you have commanded me, that every altar where there's a sacrifice working against God's children, I silence those altars in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar that has a fresh satanic sacrifice that is speaking against you, I command that altar to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The voices that are emanating from evil altars, I silence those voices in the name of Jesus. Lord, Altars that are releasing her delays, delays to breakthroughs, delays to financial breakthroughs, delays to healing, delays to deliverance. All such altars be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Altars releasing frustrations be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I destroy those evil altars in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, those altars they are being destroyed right now. I release angels, warring angels to go into the enemy's camp and destroy every evil altar in the name of Jesus. Every anti-African altar 
altars that work against Africans. I command those altars to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Now I speak over the lives of God's children and I decree every evil mark placed upon them must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Marks of bad luck be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Satanic markings, I remove them by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I counsel every evil covenant in your family that is working against you and against your destiny. Every evil covenant be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Generational curses be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every single generational curse working against you, I destroy those curses in the name of Jesus. Like father, like son syndrome, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Like mother, like daughter syndrome, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The failures of, of, of your forefathers shall not be your failure in the name of Jesus. Where your forefathers failed, you will succeed in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree your delayed miracle is manifesting now. Your delayed progress is manifesting now. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of barrenness over your life. No more barrenness in your life. No more barrenness in your business. No more barrenness in your marriage. No more barrenness in your finances. No more barrenness on the marketplace. In the name of Jesus, I take this opportunity to destroy and to dismiss spirit husbands and spirit wives that are working against you. I break every evil spiritual marriage in the name of Jesus. Guardian demons that are following you around. You foul spirits, familiar spirits, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You should no longer pursue God's children. You must no longer follow them in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what covenants were made. Evil covenants, they must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, I speak against every demonic power and I command judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus, I release divine judgment upon every demonic force working against you in the name of Jesus. Every hired occultist, every hired satanist that is being used to frustrate you, I destroy the power of that satanic altar. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate every satanic device hired against God's children, being used against God's children. In the name of Jesus, be ye set free. I declare and I decree, every evil force holding your money must loose in the name of Jesus. Every demonic power holding your resources, sitting on your finances, I command that power to go in the name of Jesus. Angels assist in this warfare. Angels of God assist us in our supernatural prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I command the stopping and the destroying of every unnecessary delay. No more delays in your life in the name of Jesus. Lord, be exempted from the economic meltdown. Whatever others are experiencing that is negative, you shall not experience. Where others are saying there's a downsetting, you will say there's an uprising. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree divine opportunities are your portion. Receive your divine opportunity it is in the name of Jesus. Lord, your delayed documents, I declare and I decree they are coming to the fore. That delayed signature must be signed in your favor in the name of Jesus. Signatures by kings that will change your lives. I command those signatures to be released in the name of Jesus. Your delayed documents, no more delays in the name of Jesus. Receive help from above. May you receive help from above in the name of Jesus. Father, you said you would help us. I release divine help upon the children of God right now in the name of Jesus. May there be accelerated progress in the lives of God's children in the name of Jesus. Your delayed harvest must manifest now in the name of Jesus. Every seed you have ever sown in God's kingdom, I command it to yield a positive harvest in the name of Jesus. I release open heavens, open over your life, I declare and I decree whatever you set your hands to do will prosper from today. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace for strange results on the marketplace, strange positive results on the marketplace. In the name of Jesus, oh my Father, my God, according to Psalm 38, verse 22, hasten to help them, my Father, my God, according to Psalm 143, verse number 7. 
hear them speedily as they pray, as they cry out unto you. How long will you look, O Lord? Renew their strength, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire drive out the spirit of delay in the name of Jesus. Save now, I pray, O God. Send now prosperity. Psalm 118, verse 25. Send now prosperity. I release divine speed, divine speed, the God kind of speed. I release the God speed, God speed upon the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus, may they receive divine speed. Divine speed is the portion of your children. In the name of Jesus, intervene, my Father, my God, in their lives. Whatever they are working on and they are not succeeding, Lord, they need divine intervention. They can't do this by themselves, my Father, my God. So I cry out for divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Restore the lost time. The time that has been lost in the lockdown. Restore, my Father, my God. I pray that you would restore the time that has been lost in the name of Jesus. Father, I know that with one or two transactions we can be restored. Restore the years that the canker worm have have stolen from us, have eaten from us in the name of Jesus. Lord, I command speedy results in this 2021. Speedy results, quick results. Father, you are God who can do a quick work. I come against snail spirit. I come against total spirit. In the name of Jesus, may their destinies be fulfilled. May their dreams be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. Negative words spoken against them. For them to be slowed down, I come against those negative words. In the name of Jesus. Now, my Father, my God, deal with the enemy at the gate. The enemy at the gate of breakthrough must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, Mando baki dabaka la be kelere be keze telebo kodi bahaya ah kababa dola mahaya for a great door has opened unto me but there are many adversaries my father my God deal with every adversary at the door of breakthrough in the name of Jesus every door that has closed her I command that door to open right now in the name of Jesus le de be keri ando la mahaya behold I set before in you an open door and doors that God opened opens, no man can shut. Every door that is closed in front of you, may your God, may your God, may your God open that door in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree, your children are entering through these doors in the name of Jesus. Every gatekeeper, satanic gatekeeper at doors of breakthroughs, I dismiss you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be ye dismissed. Loose the children of God. Loose those doors so that they may enter. Every chain at the door of breakthrough must be destroyed. Every chain at the gate of breakthrough must be destroyed. I break every chain in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree God's children will not be tied down to one place. The power of stagnation is broken in the name of Jesus. Every power of stagnation holding you down, delaying your progress, stopping you from moving forward. This night, I command that power to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. This February, you will testify of the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord Abakot Hamazatola Mahaya. I break every satanic covenant in your family that causes you not to make progress. I destroy that covenant. It doesn't matter whatever agreement was made with the forefathers and Lucifer. We cancel that agreement in the name of Jesus. May you be connected to the covenant of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. Every family covenant, every family satanic agreement, satanic handwritings of ordinances that are contrary to your destiny, they are not your portion in the name of Jesus. So Oh, 
I release miracle transactions in the name of Jesus that will help you to catch up. Strongholds are breaking right now in the name of Jesus. As you pray this prayer, as you repeat this prayer, there shall be manifestations of the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. I shake evil foundations today in the name of Jesus. As Paul and Silas were praying the prison where they were, the foundation was shaken. I shake the foundation of every evil satanic prison in your family. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of struggle is broken in the name of Jesus. Satanic arrows of delay and disappointment you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every evil voice activating delay be destroyed, be shut down. Power of retrogression, you are not their portion in the name of Jesus. Power of stagnation, no more. Chains of stagnation break right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy the power of rise and fall in the name of Jesus. Familiar spirits following God's children be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to catch fire. Satanic delaying tactics be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Everything written against us by the enemy, satanic handwritings of ordinances, contrary to our destiny, be blotted out by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Arrows of disappointment, I command you to catch fire. No more disappointments, no more being told tomorrow, tomorrow. I command the release of breakthroughs. They must be released in the name of Jesus. The power of hardship be broken. Power of hardship break in the name of Jesus. Power of hardship be broken in the name of Jesus. You power of automatic failure be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I reverse that evil programming over your life. I program only the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost Father God arise and have mercy on your children for it is their set time to be blessed in the name of Jesus their progress must no longer be postponed oh my father my God for hope deferred makes the heart sick I release promotions, I release elevations, I release enlargements in the name of Jesus. May decisions be made in the favor of your children in the name of Jesus. No more delays in positive decisions. In the name of Jesus, the blessing shall no longer be postponed. In the name of Jesus, the new level shall no longer be postponed. In the name of Jesus, the delayed houses, properties, and land shall no longer be postponed. In the name of Jesus, may they not be delayed from getting into the promised land. In the name of Jesus, sobaji talamahaya, can they no longer be hindered, my Father, my God? Even as I'm praying this prayer, your children shall no longer be hindered. In the name of Jesus, sobaki talamahaya. They shall no longer be prolonged, no longer delayed, no longer suspended, blocked, or frustrated in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, what you promised us must no longer be withheld by the enemy. Take it out of the hands of the enemy today in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree from today going forward, who no longer be slowed down by the enemy. 
will no longer be confined or arrested to one place in the name of Jesus. Those who have been discouraged, Father, may they be encouraged again in the Lord. Now I speak Isaiah 45 over the lives of your children. Father God, I pray that you'd go before them. According to Isaiah 45, verse number 2, you would make the crooked places straight, break in pieces the gates of brass. Cut asunder the bars of iron. My Father, my God, I pray that hidden riches and treasures of darkness will be released upon your children. And common breakthroughs must be released in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe in you, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Now I speak uh, over their finances uh, and I decree no more financial barrenness, uh, no more financial dryness. Uh, the spirit of poverty is broken. Uh, the power of the valley is broken in the name of Jesus. Uh, I release an overtaking blessing upon the lives of your children. May the blessing come upon them and overtake them. I command a serious business turn around uh, in the name of Jesus. May their financial progress be obvious in the name of Jesus. I release progress all around in the name of Jesus. Now I speak to their asset base and I command that asset base to grow in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree nothing shall be impossible for your children. Uncommon speed shall be their portion in the name of Jesus. I release the power to prosper the power to prosper. May your children prosper even as I'm praying this night. May they prosper unusual prosperity upon the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus, power to get wealth is released in the name of Jesus. Power to seal contracts, signed, sealed, and delivered. Every contract must turn into money in the name of Jesus. May their gifts be recognized. My Father, my God, I declare and I decree anyone, oh Father, who you have assigned to bless them, who you have assigned to be their destiny helper, may they never ignore your children in the name of Jesus. They can no longer be ignored in the name of Jesus. La kabatola maze talamahaya. Mandola be katola mahaya. I command honor that comes from God. My Father, my God, I know that even whatever words I'm speaking, they shall come to pass. My Father, my God, according to Isaiah 44, 26, you back up every word that I speak. Lord, what I'm speaking over your children, back it up in the name of Jesus. I command major deals and contracts to be signed. I command supernatural influence upon the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus, may they have an encounter with unusual grace as they are listening to this prayer. As they are praying, praying along in this prayer, Lord God, may they have unusual, unusual financial grace come upon their lives. Those desiring the millionaire's grace, those that sow a seed, oh God, for the millionaire's grace, I command that grace to fall upon them in the name of Jesus. I release the Abrahamic blessing upon the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus, I command strange financial breakthroughs, uncommon financial breakthroughs. The anointing that attracts wealth, may it be the portion of your children. In the name of Jesus. May they enter into a place of prepared blessings, prepared breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. May they reach an on-time blessing. Before the need arises, may the finances be there. May your children never be stranded in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundant Above all, they may ask or think, may you offer answer their prayers. May you surprise them in the name of Jesus. The voice of haters shall be silenced in the name of Jesus. I command unusual defense over the lives of your children in the name of Jesus. Anyone fighting your children goes down instantly in the name of Jesus. May death be far from their house in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command supernatural mouth multiplication in the name of Jesus. May they be enlarged in this territory in Zimbabwe and beyond the borders in the name of Jesus. May they be enlarged. I release supernatural enlargement. 
I command supernatural fruitfulness. May they be fruitful and then may they multiply. I command supernatural financial dominion. May they dominate their financial commitments. Grant them the grace to pay. Grant them the grace to pay. I release divine ideas, godly ideas that come from you. May they fulfill their destiny, their vision in the name of Jesus. I command the market share to increase. Wherever you place them on the market, my Father, my God, cause their market share to increase. Manda mazo daba je talida bahaya. Manda bako tala bako tala mahaya. New businesses shall be opened in the name of Jesus to your glory, my Father, my God. Ma le rebeke diando la baka to mahaya. I prophesy new businesses to be opened. I prophesy uncommon favor in the name of Jesus. I prophesy uncommon opportunities to come in the name of Jesus. Everything that they touch from today must be blessed in the name of Jesus. May they enter the realm of no room enough. The realm of too much blessing in the name of Jesus. All the monies that are locked must be unlocked. I stand in the gap as a man of God and I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus. All the locked monies, I command them to be unlocked in the name of Jesus. The curses placed on their money must be removed. The curse of delayed financial blessing be removed. Receive divine acceleration in the name of Jesus. Today I break the power of toiling. No more toiling in the name of Jesus. Your ideas will become international in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, the grace for real estate must come. In the name of Jesus, may you receive a consistent flow of blessings in the name of Jesus. May you receive daily benefits loaded upon your life. According to Psalm, Psalm 68, verse number 19, in the name of Jesus. May God increase your savings in the name of Jesus. Every hole in your pocket be sewn up by the power of the Holy Ghost. No more losses shall be experienced by you. I break the power of the devourer in the name of Jesus. May you have a good name. May you have a good reputation even on the marketplace in the name of Jesus. I activate the grace for good decisions. May you never make bad decisions in the name of Jesus. I release a season of wealth transfer. The wealth of the wicked shall be laid up for the just. Receive the wealth of the wicked in the name of Jesus. May you become a star in God's kingdom. May you become a star like Daniel. May you become a star like Joseph. May you become a star like Solomon. May you be a star like David in the name of Jesus. I command cycles of blessings to be activated over your life. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command the heavens to remain opened over your life. The heavens will never close again over your life. Grace for maximum impact is your portion. The grace for generational wealth is released upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has not been working will start working from now. May God open your eyes to see opportunities in the name of Jesus. And Common grace is coming upon you. You are no longer the same person as you were. May you be turned into another man like Saul. After he had an encounter with Samuel, even by this encounter with this prayer, may you be turned into another man. In the name of Jesus, may you flourish like the trees planted by the rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus, I command unusual angelic assistance with your prosperity. In the name of Jesus, may 
may you be multiplied and not remain small, according to Jeremiah 30, verse number 19. In the name of Jesus, you will not be few. You will not be few. You will be multiplied in the name of Jesus. You will not be small. You will be glorified in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree men on the marketplace, they must favor you. They must favor you. May you have an encounter with kings on the marketplace. May you serve kings on the marketplace. May you be paid from the treasuries of kings in the name of Jesus. Oh, I release uh, Genesis chapter 30, verse number 43 upon your life. Uh, exceeding prosperity, exceeding prosperity. I release that upon your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, the grace for real deals must come upon your life uh, in the name of Jesus. You no longer survive on crumbs, but the real deals shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. May you have the grace for real results in the name of Jesus. May you be a representative of the God kind of prosperity in the name of Jesus. Strange wealth, unexplainable wealth shall be your portion. Unexplainable riches shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. May you be ten times better than all your companions. Competitors. May you be ten times better than all your relatives in the name of Jesus. May people come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because of what God is doing in your life. May people truly see that you walk with God, that you move with God in the name of Jesus. Even as they said about Joseph, that truly we can see that God is with this man. For no man can do these things except God be with them. May they say that of you this February in the name of Jesus. May God be glorified through you. Galatians 1.24 In the name of Jesus I prophesy that all influential men will look for you. Mark 137 All men seek for you. All men seek for you. May your fame be spread abroad in the positive in the name of Jesus. Any negativity surrounding your name, I crush it in the name of Jesus. May your gifts be celebrated. May your skills be celebrated. May your business proposal be celebrated. May you be welcomed by kings. I see the gates to the palace opening for you. In the name of Jesus, doors to government must be open to you. Doors to civil authorities must be open to you in the name of Jesus, may men be compelled to bless you. I compel men, Amakazu, to bless you in the name of Jesus. Any legal case against you is settled in your favor. In the name of Jesus, it is settled in your favor. May people desire to help you. In the name of Jesus, may they help you with your dreams. I command brand new victories for you. Oh, I feel the anointing on this prayer. Results are coming. Brand new victories. They are your portion in the name of Jesus. I release the grace for continuous testimonies upon your life. Every single day, may God put a testimony in your mouth. Uncommon opportunities. They are your portion. The blessing of timing is your portion. Right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus, I command unusual discounts over your life. That is your portion in the name of Jesus. May you be promoted in God's kingdom and elevated in the name of Jesus. Every investment of yours, whether spiritual or natural, may you receive a return on investment. In the name of Jesus, hidden blessings, they are released in your favor. In the name of Jesus, may you be free from sickness. May you be free from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Jealousy, witchcraft that attacks people because of rising. I squash it in the name of Jesus. May God increase your greatness according to Psalm 21 verse 71. I see him increasing your greatness in the name of Jesus. I prophesy God is increasing your greatness in the name of Jesus. I command long life upon you in the name of Jesus. May you live long and may you live strong in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Manda makota la mahaya. New cars, they are your portion. You will enjoy. You will ride prosperously because of truth according to the word of God. Manda makota la mahaya. The grace to make a difference in this generation. May you receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Mako badele rebo koti mahaya. You will live in financial liberty in the name of Jesus. This prayer is breaking the spirit of poverty and releasing the spirit of prosperity or the power to prosper. Every tither uh, and every partner of the ministry that listens to this prayer, may you benefit from this prayer in the name of Jesus. The ceiling over your breakthroughs is removed. No more limits. No more limits. I break the powers of limitation in the name of Jesus. I release new business contracts in your favor in the name of Jesus. Prosperity roadblocks, they are removed in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 138 verse 7 and 8, may God perfect everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, receive a godly character to go with that wealth in the name of Jesus. Manda I speak Psalm 112, wealth and riches shall be in your house and righteousness shall also be your portion. Holiness shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Now I command your diversity blessings to return to you in the name of jesus your diverted blessings they are coming to you any deadly disease that comes to you because you are rising i destroy that spirit in the name of jesus the wealth that comes by prophecy is your portion in the name of jesus may your bonds be filled with plenty in the name of jesus may you have supernatural favor in the name of Jesus. Your vision shall be fulfilled according to the word of God. People will look up to you as you look up to God. May you be a mentor to this generation. May people around you want to be mentored by you because they see results. Because you are marvelously helped like Uzziah. Second Chronicles 26 verse number 15. May you be marvelously helped by God in the name of Jesus. May May you be a giant in this territory in the name of Jesus. May you experience the reality of God's blessing. The reality of kingdom prosperity shall be your portion. May grace be poured upon your lips according to Psalm 45. Now I command the release of heavenly treasures upon your life. They are released in your favor in the name of Jesus. May you grow in leaps and bounds according to the word of God. May satanic barriers be broken broken in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree from today you are a line crosser, you are a barrier breaker. You break records in the positive in the name of Jesus. Those who are into mining, may your minds be opened in the name of Jesus. I command your spiritual eyes to be opened. You will see opportunities all around you. The power of hardship is broken in the name of Jesus. May you not only grow financially, may you grow spiritually. May you have authority over demonic powers. May you be able to destroy the powers of the enemy just by your word. May God strengthen your words. May he give you a mouth that your enemies cannot resist according to Luke 21 verse number 15. In the name of Jesus, you will celebrate this year in the name of Jesus. Many will move from hardship to headship. In the name of Jesus, the grace to manifest. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Lo kabadola mazeta la mahaya. Mandala baka talama kota mahaya. You will celebrate this year. You will celebrate this month. In the name of Jesus. May God give you a reason to celebrate. Ma kabadola baze telebo kodi bahaya. You are recovering all around. In the name of Jesus. May God give you divine revelation, witty inventions, ideas, in the name of Jesus, ideas after the order of Google, ideas after the order of WhatsApp, ideas that will take over the world. May you receive such ideas in the name of Jesus. Multiple streams of income, that shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, now I command Godly visitations. Divine encounters shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree Godly wisdom is your portion. 
portion. You will be wiser than people who are around you in the name of Jesus. People who look up to you for wisdom in the name of Jesus. So Mahaya. No robbery shall befall you. No harm shall befall you. No losses shall befall you in the name of Jesus. May God send him a faithful people around you. Good people around you. May God warn you of any danger. And may you be protected from any danger. May you be protected from any harm. In the name of Jesus. Now I declare and I decree that this prayer that I've prayed over you. Every prayer point that I've prayed over you. I speak and I decree in the name of Jesus that this 45-minute prayer shall be a life-changing prayer. Every prayer I've prayed over you shall be answered. Even as you believe in this prayer, I declare and I decree you will see uncommon results. Even from today, the 1st of February, 2021, you will see uncommon results. In the name of Jesus, Lo Kabadola Maha, God bless you. It's Apostle Rodney Chipoera here. I've prayed this prayer with uh, with love for you. Uh, those who are connected to me in any way, those who are connected to our ministry, and for the body of Christ in general, those who believe in this ministration, I declare and I decree. May you benefit from this prayer. Spread this prayer all around, and anyone who plays this prayer and spreads this prayer, prayer. I make a covenant with God today that anyone who would believe in this prayer and pray through this prayer and spread this prayer in the name of Jesus, I decree uncommon blessings, uncommon financial grace in the name of Jesus. God bless you saints. May you see results. In Jesus' name. May you be protected by God himself. And may there be no comeback, satanic comeback, satanic retaliation against this prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. It's Apostle Rodney Chipoera here. Kingdom Prosperity Ministries, Harare, Zimbabwe. Be blessed.